Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, it's me again, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Final resting place of Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable, the black Frenchman who founded Chicago. He lived out the last ten years of his life in Frenchtown and died in 1818. Alrighty then, hey, this here uh, just so happens to be a... Uh, uh, April 4th, I mean April 11th, 2016, which makes this blog number 425. Speaking of April 11th, it's Christy Schneider Hastings' birthday. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Christy. Happy birthday to you. Oh, and many more. Yep. Buddy, that being said, boy, I tell you what, I ain't found a whole lot of stuff going on here in St. Charles. I've been looking and hoping, I mean, there should be stuff starting because, well, hey, the summertime's a rolling in. Sun's shining out there today, I'm telling you that much. Now, whether it's warm or not, I can't tell you. I can tell you, but I don't think it is. It's supposed to be getting warmer, but... Rain came through this morning, and it's supposed to be sunny for the rest of the day, so hopefully I'll get a chance to get out there in it and see how it's going. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Sunshine in my eyes can make me cry. Sunshine on the water looks all lovely sunshine almost all the time makes me high if i had a wish that i could wish for you i'd wish a wish sure to make you smile i'd wish a wish the sunshine all the while, I said sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Sunshine in my eyes can make me cry. Sunshine almost always makes me high. All right, that was just off the cuff. I wasn't looking at no words there. I was just kind of remembering. Which brings me to another song, which this one I will look up because, well, hey, I want to get this one right. I'll send it out to all my Shenandoah friends. Alright, here we go. This is for all my Shenandoah people. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains. Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country roads, all my memories gather round her. Miner's lady, stranger to blue waters, dark and dusty, painted on the skies. Misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eyes. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country roads, I hear her voice in the morning hour. She calls me. 
The radio reminds me of my home far away. And driving down the road, I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country roads take me home to the place. I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads, country roads, take me home to the place. I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads, take me home, now country roads, take me home, now country roads. All right, and that goes out to all my Shenandoah friends. Hey, hey, hey. I know there's a whole mess of us, and well, hey. I love that one because, well, it mentions our name, doesn't it? Got another one that mentions our name, and I'm going to go ahead and whip that one up first, too. So give me a second, and I'm going to plop it on out there. All righty, all righty, all righty. Are you all ready? Here we go. Oh, Shenandoah. I long to hear you ha ha way you rolling river ha Shenandoah I long to hear you away I'm bound ha way cross the wide misery Missouri, she's mighty river, ha ha way, you rolling river, the Indian scamp along her borders, away, I'm bound, ha way. Cross the wide misery The white man loved An Indian maiden Ha ha way You rolling river With notions His canoe was laden Away, I'm bound, away, cross the wide misery. Oh, Shenandoah, I love your daughter, away, you rolling River, for I have crossed the rolling water away. I'm bound away, cross the wide Missouri. Seven long years. I've courted Sally, ha ha way, you rolling river, seven more, I've longed to have her, away, I'm bound, ha way, cross the wide. Missouri. Farewell, my dear. I'm bound to leave you. Ha ha way, you rolling river. 
Oh, Shannon I'll not deceive you away. I'm bound away across the wide Missouri. Hey, you know what? I done that one real well. I appreciate the fact that I done it that well because hey, it's been a long time since I've sung it and I I think I done that one really well. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one because well, hey, it's 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 a, it's a hard thing to do. Well, pat pat pat. I'm not going to get that hand up there, but oh, of course, let's get it all caught up in my microphone wires and pull my headset off. But uh, that one does deserve a little zip, a uh, little sip of the nectar. H2O. It's good for me. It's good for you. Alrighty, hey, that brings us to the pro part of the program where we're going to do our daily bread. So give me a second and we'll pull her on up and we'll find out what we're going to talk about today, what today's devotional is going to be, and uh, what sections of the Bible we're going to read. Alrighty? Well, alrighty then. Alrighty, alrighty. It looks like um, we're going to be reading Ecclesiastics 4, 4 through 16. And if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year for the year, it's uh, 1 Samuel 17 through 18 and Luke 11, 1 through 9, or 1 through 28, sorry. Um, the title of the devotional today is, Who Am I Working For? You see, folks work for them. They work for themselves, and they work for many hours, and then, so, then uh at a point in time in your life, you come home to share the good news that you've made it all the way to the highest ranking position in the company. And, well, you've got all kinds of great news to to uh, share with your family, and your family's no longer there. They've, the kids have grown up and moved out, and your wife has a new job. And, well, pff, what, that, what does that leave you? It leaves you at home alone, and you've worked all your life, and let and yet your life has been has uh, gone away from you. So that being said, let's read Ecclesiastics four fourteen through sixteen. All righty. I've seen that every labor and every skill which is done is the result of rivalry between a man and his neighbor. This too is vanity and starving after wind striving after wind. The fool folds his hands and consumes his own flesh. One handful of rest is better than two fists full of labor and striving after wind. Then I looked again at vanity under the sun. There was a certain man without dependence, having neither a son nor a brother, yet there was no end to his labor. Indeed, his eyes were not satisfied with riches, and he never asked. And for whom am I laboring and depriving myself of pleasure? This too is vanity, and it is a grievous task. Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. For if either of them falls, the one will lift up his companion. But woe to the one who falls when there is not another to lift him up. Furthermore, if two lie down together, they keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? And if one can overpower him who is alone, two can rest, uh, resist him. A cord of three strands is not quickly torn apart. A poor yet wise lad is better than an old and foolish king who no longer knows how to receive instructions. For he has come out of prison to become king, even though he was born poor in his kingdom. I have seen all the living under the sun throughout throng 
to the thrown to the side of the second lad, lad who replaced him. This is no end to all the people, to all who were before them, and even the ones who will come later will not be happy with him, for this too is vanity and striving after wind. So there you have it, Ecclesiastics 4, 4, 1 through 16. And that, my friends, looks like the end of it for the day. So, goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. But it a little. Goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. And this air Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I, so be blessed in Jesus' name. Come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.